Here is a demo of the MSP Bots Next Ticket Manager. It will help your service teams identify the next right ticket to work on based on a series of parameters. That ranks the priority of tickets and serves up the one with the highest priority whenever a service agent is open to work on the next ticket. This is one we say, you know, you guys see we have the different team, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the San Francisco, team two, team three, right? One, two, three, four. So what it says, if it, they say, hey, Daniel, you are hired for the team six, mm -hmm. right? This is the first day. You said, Daniel going to come in and say, oh, you are very seasoned. You don't need training. You worked in the MSP for 10 years. You know what right. you're doing. Right. Which ticket you should work first? The MSP, the next ticket says, go work on this ticket, right? Go work on this ticket. So this is a, a click there, bang, it goes to the counterclockwise. All you can do is you don't even need to log in. You just come here, it says NT, which is we really, really want to save technicians time. Yeah, so we next short ticket. Next ticket, right? We mm -hmm. say, hey, I type, you know, 10 letters if we can type two letters, right? So, so Daniel comes in and says, hey, um, first day here, which ticket I should work on? Type NT, click this, go work on that. Oh, why wow. am I working on this one? Oh, if you are interested, we'll explain later, but just go there. Most technicians don't care. The, my job is just fixing the ticket. You say, I work on this one? Oh, okay, I'll do it. Oh, I finished this one. What's next? Next, next ticket ticket right mm -hmm. that's a literally official training and the dispatch process but as you and the business owner coo service manager you need to do the hard work what's the hard work we suggest you spend about a four hours or eight hours whatever the time right go define the party rules right so uh let me let me go back here right uh where the next thing so the user experiences app next ticket Mm. And a couple of seconds later, right, bam, we give you the ticket. Uh, there, it's a five, six second. Reality behind the thing, if you click here, so it's actually there's 50 tickets open, right? Team mm -hmm. six open tickets, 50, 50 of them. So all those 50 tickets, we see these points. This mm -hmm. is how we determine which one is more important. There are some like 100 thousand points, right? There's some like a negative points. Right, so all this kind of stuff uh, here. So how mm -hmm. exactly these points are calculated? That's what we call the working on the business, the management and they decide, right? So like situation right now, you have a dispatcher, let's say his name is John, right? John mm -hmm. comes in and says, uh, uh, hey friends, you know, next month I have this blah, blah reason, I need to take three weeks vacation, right? Uh, you're like, oh, you know, now what? Okay, Daniel, come here, right? Uh, go train with John for a week, so mm -hmm. at least you can cover that three weeks, so we don't get like a go crazy, right? So then Daniel gonna go, okay, okay, I'm here, John. What's the training? John gonna say, here's typically how I dispatch ticket, right? Mm -hmm. If this if this ticket is assigned to a current user, it is more important for that user. Mm -hmm. If this company has no payment service collection. Mm. Don't dispatch it. Yeah, negative. Means, negative 100,000. I really, really don't want to do, do it, right? Right. And if this one, right, blah, 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 this, right, oh, watch list, right? This client has been threatened to leave, pissed off, fire, yep, fire, yep, yep. Let's show them some love, right? Kiss their behind, so hopefully we can save them, right? right? Uh, this, there is another watch list or something like, oh, if there's a decision maker, do it sooner. But if they're super VIP, right? Do it even sooner. Mm -hmm. CEO, sooner. Controller, kind of like important, but not that important. President, whatever. I got you. Yep. Right. If this, if a technician already have a ticket in progress, tell them keep working on that. Don't ask me for a new one. You already have a ticket in progress. Mm -hmm. Oh, this venue is in progress. Don't dispatch to any anybody else. Right. The more money they pay us, the more important. The past hmm. deal, the longer the past deal is more important. Higher the priority, more important. By this time, I'm like, oh, hold on, John. I need to write down. This is too much, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You said CEO is important and the pay more money is important. What if a CEO for a $1,000 company and a regular user for a $6,000 company? Which one should do first? 
is almost like a follow your heart, right? Yeah, right. One, right? <laughs> but, uh, it's not done yet, right? SLA. Mm-hmm. Oh, this ticket is next Friday. Don't dispatch it. Don't even open it, right? But uh, hey, if you don't open it, how do you know it's a, uh, right? Right. The ticket owner, statues, a summary. If it's uh, included, right? Like a uh, uh, Sophos, you know, high level or the SL expired, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Ticket type. Of course, there's uh, this, right? So, status and user skill set, right? It's mm-hmm. this is support with this kind of skill. <clears throat> End of the day, the reality is uh, there's no human being exist in the world, right? Can calculate 50 tickets based on those uh, uh, 20, 30 rules you set in five right. seconds. So, ends of the day, nobody calculate that. So ends of day, most people just randomly or somehow have a, some kind of very rudimentary prioritization. Nobody, no dispatcher, look at all these factors. It's just right. impractical, right? It, you know, uh, unrealistic to ask human to do this, right? But uh, this is all you need to. Do. Most of them, you know, natural language, right? And if yeah. there are any rules, we challenge people. Says, uh, oh, what if uh, this situation? We said, can we translate it to if this, then that, right? Mm-hmm. If we can develop the rules. So you spend those couple of hours, right? Typically, those couple of hours, even with pre built rules, is already way better than your current employee and the dispatcher you mm-hmm. have there. And then, you know, but we still need a dispatcher 20%, right? We wanted them to make sure the data is accurate, right? We want them to make sure, right, some urgent uh, uh, task. We want them to handle the on-site because we cannot handle the on-site, you know, the weather, the traffic, mm-hmm. what time, right. is user there or not, right? All those kind of stuff going to determine, right, if we should do it. So there's still something in the dispatch, but from the technician standpoint, you know, just NT, they totally eliminated. The, and even the dispatcher, right, they don't, micromanage every technician. Whoa, 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 why you do that ticket, right? First or later. Mm-hmm. Many times they assign a bunch of a ticket. The technicians still need to determine which ticket. Which ticket for to us, work next, right? Yeah, this is just what you do. So okay. that's the next ticket. Make sense? It does make sense, yes. Any questions that's fantastic. about fantastic. No, that's fantastic. I mean, I, I guess the only thing would be if if you have something pre-built that I can, I, I mean, I, again, I working on the business rather than in the business is fantastic. So I'm willing yeah. to invest eight, 16, 24 hours to build that out. I just wonder if you have like a best practice one skeleton foundation already built, like is what you showed me kind of your foundation? No, not really. This is just okay. a demo. We okay. are working with uh, people. We say, what's the most popular ones, mm-hmm. right? But uh, what I find out is the challenge is that each company do things differently. Differently. Yeah. Right? So what we do here, for example, this one, right? We give you this option, right? You see this uh, uh, save and test rules, right? Mm-hmm. You can do it all individually, right? You do mm-hmm. it all individually. For example, this one, you click this, right? You say, Okay, I want to save this and test in that. Then we give you the all the current tickets, right? Um, we give you this, right? Then you can mm-hmm. say, oh, the president and CEO got a lot of points, right? Mm-hmm. Owner, right? Uh, then you go down, you say, you keep going down, you say, uh, office manager, administrator, yeah, none of them. Mm, oh, CPA, I don't care, CPA, right? Regional sales, right. no, no. Oh, facility, facility manager? Right? Maybe bump Maybe. him up a couple points. Exactly. Yeah. So all you need to do is copy this, then go back, add a rule. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Add this one, come here, do this. And you say, nah, this one is too high, this one is too low, right? All those kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You just, right? This is the, you can just uh, go through this. Like I said, oh, yeah, another thing very important we said, people intimidated with this will go, whoa, this is Apache, you know, oh, F23, F30, you know, flight jet, right? <laughs> Can I even operate this, right? So I always tell this, this is not Olympics, right? Like, oh, you missed the two, two seconds. Uh, it's a huge difference. This one, you know, we are comparing, the first phase is you're comparing your human dispatcher and right. your human technician, right? 
even you just spend four hours, not four hours, even the one hour, just quickly go through this. It might not be perfect. It might not be, you know, 100% accurate. It's only 60% accurate, right? It's That's already 60% efficient, better efficiency. Yeah, way better. Yeah. Right. Because most of the human just randomly choosing, right? It's right. way better ready. Then, you know, we have this uh, rejection function, right? So if they say one of your technicians, are, no, I should not be dispatched with this tech uh, ticket, right? They can reject it and we ask them the reason why you reject it, right? So mm -hmm. this is verified, but I'm not familiar with this client, yeah. right? We're like, uh, so for example, you say, uh, that's not a reason, right? You still need to look into it, do your best so you can get familiar, right? right? Everybody only work with the familiar, then nobody work with the new client anymore, right? Right. So, so this is more like a training. But if your business says, yeah, you're right, right? If yeah. you're not familiar with this client, we don't want you to work on it, right? Then you can say, how can I quantify you're familiar with it or not? We say, yeah, if you assign it to that client team, right, then you're going to work mm -hmm. on it. So we can say, hey, Daniel, we, you don't have a rules to say if current technician is in the team of assigned to this company, then add remove points, right? If that's right. your what you want to achieve. That's, that's yeah. what we can help to say, yeah, we only want the technician who is assigned to that team working on that one. Right. Okay, let's translate it into some kind of data to describe that to make it happen, right? So right. that's that's the how we can help you. That rules doesn't exist today. We say okay, we can create it. But the rest of them just keep going. You know, the so easiest way just like go through a couple hours, so just through to the technician, just start using it. No big deal. Mm -hmm. And even and and you can even just say, you know what? Uh, you talk with your dispatcher, you find out your dispatcher only care about three things, right. right? Right now. So you say, you know what, I'm gonna turn off everything else. I don't care about company status, I don't care about right. this, I don't just less three cents so I can replace my dispatcher, right? It's going to same kind of quality, it's same kind of, well, it's way faster, way better, any shape of way you think about it, right? As long as you just spend a couple hours. Then from there, based on those feedbacks and today, oh, suddenly, ah, that, that client is complaining about that ticket. What happened? Whoa, the next ticket moved so low. Oh, why did the next ticket move so low? Oh, we forgot about this reason. Add a rule, adjust it a little bit, then that problem never come back That's again. Right. Right. So it's a right. one at a time. So you approach into the perfection, but you don't need it to get a perfection, you know, to start using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sense? It does. Absolutely.